Okay, in class example three, Eric was asked how many odd four-digit numbers there are, and that didn't go too badly. Now there's a more evil version. How many even four-digit numbers are there? This is harder, and here's why. How many digits can we put in this last space? If we want the number to be even, that means we can use two or four, or six, or eight, or zero. Any number that ends in one of those will make this even. So we have five choices for that spot. Then we go out front. How many choices do we have here? Here we can start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. We cannot start with zero because then it's not really a four-digit number. So we have nine choices there. And then for these middle digits where we can put anything, it's not so bad. So uh, 90 times 50 is 4,500. <clears throat> That's how many even four-digit numbers there are. Now it gets tricky. How many even four-digit numbers are there with no repeated digits? Here's how you start. You could put 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 or 0 in this spot. So there are five choices there. Now the trouble happens. When you go to this spot, how many choices do you have available? There's two things you have to worry about at once. First, this can't be zero. One, so we're, the digits we are allowed to use are these. We can't start with zero because that would make this not a four digit number. Also, we can't repeat the digit that was over here. But wait, what if it was zero? If there was a zero here, then we wouldn't need to worry about it because we couldn't use zero anyway. If it's two, four, six, or eight, then we couldn't duplicate that number and we'd only have eight choices here. You can't really work both of those restrictions at the same time. And so when you get a situation like this where there's two restrictions that are kind of one depends on the other, you end up splitting them up. It's not too bad, it just takes a little extra writing. Instead of this being 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0, I'm going to do two separate cases. The first one is going to be the number ends with 2, 4, 6, or 8. And then separately, I'm going to do the number ends with 0. Let's see what happens now. This was impossible. Not impossible, but too hard for me anyway. Let's see what we can do with this. If the number ends with 2, 4, 6, or 8, and that's all we're allowed to use here, then there are four choices for that spot. Now let's try this first one and see what happens. Here, we cannot use 0. That takes us down to nine choices. We also can't use whatever number we used in this last spot, so that takes us down to eight choices. There's no overlap anymore. Zero and the numbers we're talking about over here are totally separate, and so there's no chance of any duplication. So we can't use zero, and we can't duplicate this number either. Now when we get to this spot, uh, we have all ten digits. Zero is okay. We can't duplicate either of these guys, so we have eight choices. And when we get to this spot, we can't duplicate either of the three guys we've used already, so we only have seven choices. Uh, 8 times 8 is 64. 7 times 4 is 28. 64 times 28, I have no idea. 64 times 28, 1792. So there's 1,792 numbers which are four digits and end in two, four, six, or eight. Now, let's do the ones that end with zero. We have to put a zero in here, so there's only one choice for that spot. Now, on the leading digit, we can use anything from one to, from one to nine. We just can't use zero, so that's nine choices. 
I'm not worried about duplicating this space because we know there's a zero here and we can't use that number anyway. So here we didn't care that there were, here we knew there couldn't be a zero hit there. Here we know there definitely is a zero in the final spot. Either way, it makes things easier to figure out. For this space, I've got all 10 digits to work with, but I can't use zero and I can't use whatever is here. So that leaves me with eight choices. And for this middle spot, I can use any of the digits, but I can't use the three that have already been placed, so that leaves me with seven choices. Uh, nine times eight is 72, times seven is four, uh, 508. No, sorry. 72 times seven is 490 plus 14, 504. So, grand total. 1,792 choices there, 504 choices there. What do I do with those two numbers? Do I multiply them? I don't because they're alternatives. The number either ends in 2, 4, 6, or 8, or it ends with 0, but not both at once. You don't have to take one of these things and one of these things. They're mutually exclusive. So you add these together, 1792 plus 504 should be 2,296. And that should be the total number of even four-digit numbers with no repeated digits.